Hello, I'm Rich Gallicini for Cunningham Piano Company. And I'm Hugh Sung. Welcome back to our video blog. Uh, last week, we asked for questions. Any question that you wanted to ask that you wanted to know more about a piano. Um, and we got some fantastic questions, didn't we? Well, you had some tremendous response, and we really appreciate hearing from you mm -hmm. and having this wonderful opportunity through our video channel and through our blog and website to answer these really terrific questions. The most difficult part was what to start out with, but we, we found one, and here it is. I've heard pros and cons both for and against new pianos and used pianos. Some say a piano will never be as good as it is when it's new. Others say older pianos have better craftsmanship. What's true? Well, the answer could be, it depends, mm. because there's elements of truth in both of those things. It reminds me of something that my father said for many, many years. What was that? He used to say, absolutes are never true. <laughs> now, it's a joke, but yeah. frankly, it, it, there's a ring of truth there. So when we get a new piano from a box, when we take it out of a box, we have to do lots of work to it to get it to its best point. And as a piano ages and wears and is played, parts wear, parts compact, and they need maintenance to keep them at their optimum. So a new piano can be wonderful. But there are certain older pianos. For instance, Hugh, mm -hmm. before we started working together, I mean, we've known each other for a long, long time. Yeah. yeah. And um, when you were a young player, a young hotshot player here in Philadelphia, <laughs> uh, you chose a beautiful piano. What did you choose? I had a Steinway L. I so a five foot ten Steinway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And you played that for many years. And Hugh was talking to me about his piano uh, at one point, and we uh, we had sent people out to homes to do tuning and fine regulation. I assured him, the problems that you're having with your piano, we may be able to correct them in just a few hours. Yeah, right. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a miracle if you could do it. So, so you want to explain what happened? Absolutely. So uh, we sent a technician out, a very professional technician. Uh, when he got to the home, he called me and said, Rich, I'm giving this piano last rites. <laughs> there were broken strings. Now, keep in mind, Hugh, how long in a, in a given day did you play? You know, this is the piano that was the instrument I grew up with from a, from, a, from being a young pianist to really through my college years. Right. You know, and so I was playing on this sometimes anywhere from three to eight hours a day. Right. So heavy, intense pounding. And when your technician came out, he saw smashed hammers, broken strings, mm -hmm. Dampers that had been really had sprung out of place. I mean, I, this was really a, a piano technician's worst nightmare. So that's where rebuilding and restoration comes in. Mm -hmm. Although the piano at the time was only about 30 years old, yeah. it needed rebuilding. Now, we've done that same sort of work for many universities. Uh, a piano that's in uh, a recital area, a piano that's in a studio where a teacher teaches. Uh, so we've done the same sort of restoration. But Hugh, you had a very interesting comment when we were completed with it, and you actually got to play the piano. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I had grown up with this instrument. I knew every nook and cranny. And frankly, I had never really been that excited about my own piano. It was just you know, a practice instrument and something I would torment and torture and tear apart. One th it's true. Yeah. And one thing in particular that really bothered me was that I would, every time I had a tune, it would never be in tune, if that makes sense. I mean, there was something strange about that particular piano's design. No matter how hard a technician worked, they could never get it in tune. I had several piano tuners come in, and nobody could get this piano to sound right. It was always something wrong. And then after your technicians, your, uh, your craftsmen, reworked and rebuilt the piano, mm -hmm. I played it, and I could not believe it sounded better than ever. I had never heard it sound so good. So it sounded better than when it was a brand new It was new actually piano. way better. It, it was, it was right. like a completely new instrument. It was my piano. I recognized the soul of it. It was like the piano, but how should I say, glorified? <laughs> it's, it's, it, you know, it, it never was able to be in tune, as I mentioned. Perfectly in tune. It was so beautiful. I had tears in my eyes. This is my baby. I, I remember <laughs> you know? that moment. It and was so beautiful. There were some scale challenges with that particular piano. Yeah. So, yes, we corrected them. We corrected some issues with the piano when we rebuilt it. So, now, piano 30 years old, you're saying that it was better than when it was brand new. Oh, far better. Yeah. You know, so it was, it was I could not believe how good it was. And it looked gorgeous. You know? I mean, not Thank just you. aesthetically, but more importantly, the sound was so much better. 
Right. So the answer is, it's kind of a two-edged sword. Yes, as a piano ages, it can degrade, it can decay. Um, but with proper maintenance, if we do the right work along the way, some of these things will never happen. Um, if a lot of things had been addressed along the way with you, perhaps it wouldn't, your piano would not have gotten in the shape where you absolutely had to rebuild. Right. But because we had to rebuild, we were able to reshape that piano to be better than it ever was. And I think what's really interesting, especially mm -hmm. as I'm getting to explore our inventory of used instruments, used rebuilt instruments, mm -hmm. I'm seeing that these older instruments still retain their, a bit of their original soul. Right. And, they, and now another thing about acoustic pianos is that each and every one, new or used, is unique. Really, really interesting. So that's why it's so important for, for folks to come in, visit, and experience the differences in each piano. Because it's, like, um, it's like falling in love. <laughs> it's, it's really like you know, just trying to find the right voice that sings to your own heart. Every piano sings differently. Well, that's true. Yeah. Well, thank you for all of the questions. We really enjoyed doing this this evening, and we're looking forward to answering a lot more questions over the next few weeks. Absolutely. Keep them coming. Yeah. <laughs> and please um, make, uh, make any notes that you wish here. Make your comments. Give us your feedback. We want to hear from you. And be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know every time we have new articles and new videos. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. And I'm Rich Gallasini.